Alright guys, welcome back. Let's do something else. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Actually, does Pluto still count as a planet here? That's the question. No, it's just Neptune. Oh, they, 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 they kept, they, they, it's up to date. No Pluto. Why does not they don't they even show it as like, oh wait, there's Pluto. Is it not a planet? Ice Dwarf Planet, uh, Worlds. Well, I mean, I guess it still counts as a planet. We're ready for Pluto. Apparently, it's super close to Neptune. Look at that. It, it basically in a, in like in like a, a like the next century, it's gonna collide with uh, Neptune. Everyone, uh, just I know that from science class. Trust me. And also by looking at that. All right, all right. Fuck Navaria. Maybe we'll do Citadel. Let's do Citadel. Fuck it. I said I was gonna go go do it. And then we'll probably do some other shit, like Vermeer and whatever. Hello, Citadel. It just occurred to me, I, I don't know if I, uh, here, we can just fucking speed this up. We've seen this before. Uh, oh, apparently only I got level ups. Or no, I, I didn't actually, I don't have the, the team with me yet. We'll bring the best. Equalizing interior pressure logged. Alright, we're good. Alright, what the hell? Who the hell is this guy? Alright, see, we got one point with her. Uh, what was I gonna do with her? It's going to advanced throw. Or no, I was gonna do lift, wasn't I? But uh, advanced throw is like right there. I don't know why I wouldn't do that, and what's Rex got? Guess we can get a point in stasis. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Admiral, I'm on urgent business with the Citadel. Is there something you need? Let's get one thing clear, Shepard. You might be a specter to the aliens, but to me you're just another junior officer. Be respectful. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I wasn't keen on it either. But there are advantages to being above the law. Don't let the title go to your head. No one's above the law. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no. We had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Normandy is an Alliance warship, but she's on loan to the Citadel. That means she's not in your chain of command. I believe there's something wrong with my ears. Did you just contradict me? This ship is Council property right now. So, respectfully, please clear the gangway. Have it your way, Commander. But expect me to file a report on this. Yeah, fuck that guy. Alright, anything else here? Oh, she said something. Fuck, whatever. That's the problem when you speed it up. You never know. Subtitle appeared for just a second. I think she was, uh, braiding me. technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Yeah, I'm going to start using the other sprint key that I have, because I don't know. I don't know why I'm just using the the speed up key. Sorry about that. I mean, I, I, I it's I doubt it's important, but eventually it'll be something important, you know. I could speed up this elevator sequence. I have the technology. Oh shit. Quick save failed. Quick save failed. Fuck it, yellow. Commander Shepard? Kalisa had been seen in Al Jalani, Western Lynn News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Yeah. 
Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the Council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Damn, which one do I do? I, I just want to keep doing the red stuff, but... <laughs> Fine, fuck it. I've had enough of your snide insinuations. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over. <laughs> uh, it's always good. Alright. Oh, sorry, I meant to do this. Hello, Commander. I'll open the rare stocks for you. Alright, let's see if there's anything good here. No, no, there isn't. I mean, there's this. But no, it's not better than what I have. Alright, so. Well, I don't want to open that. Alright, so what do we have here to do? Uh, Doctor at Risk, find the. Doctor Newton system. Yeah, this is like a bunch of stuff I, I have to do around here because there's a lot of stuff we didn't do yet. Admiral, I don't even know where he is. Citadel Tower. Financial district of the Presidium. All right. Well, is there a tower? Yeah, there is actually. Alright, let's go find... Let's go talk to him about it. This is the people we found on that dune planet, by the way. I'll have to look around for him, though. Interesting. I mean, they don't even really say anything, actually. Doors around. Fuck it. in something like that without the count. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a specter. A specter? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Isn't anyone else looking into this? 
My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Us humans gotta stick together. Oh, where's the guy? Oh, I saw... Okay, right. Who's that? Ah, oh, Citadel Transit. Oh, here he is. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. This is the guy I just told off earlier. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I found them. What was left of them. They ran into a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. I don't have time for this. You've already done enough, Shepard. The rest is up to me. <laughs> I don't have time for this. There we go. More scans. I mean, I I can look up where they all are, the the, the keepers, but I don't know. Or, I mean, we go, we want to explore a little bit, anyways. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. All right, let's go to. Uh, I don't know where. Uh, I think the financial district, but we can't actually see it, so. This ward's access. It's like on the it's on the other side, I think. It's close. I mean, we haven't been over there technically. Are we scan this one? Nope. Wait, I can't examine that one. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. It's not letting me scan that one. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level. I don't need a guide. Our records indicate this is your first time in the Citadel. A brief orientation session is customary. Please allow me to do my job. I'll pass. I apologize if you please do not disturb the keepers. They're not letting me fucking scan it. I didn't want to get the big spiel from the the VI. I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca. But don't let your grief hurt your baby, too! Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives! Holy shit. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances the gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. For what it's worth, I think you should consider undergoing the therapy. 
I don't care what you think. Who are you anyway? <laughs> it's my child. It's my decision. You've already lost your husband. Are you going to let your grief endanger the baby too? I had to watch Jacob die. I can't risk causing the death of my child as well. Your husband's death wasn't your fault. But if you refuse the therapy, your child's death could be. Don't you understand? I can't lose this baby. This... This is all I have left of him. And you and that baby are all I have left of Jacob. I can't lose you. Either of you. Not after this. Then why didn't you just say that instead of yelling at me? I was scared. I'm sorry. If it means that much to you, if you trust that it's the right thing, I'll do the therapy. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess we needed an outside person to talk some sense into both of us. Holy shit. It's like a drama TV show. Fuck, I want, I want the last point of intimidate, intimidate so bad. I like how I was able to solve that by intimidation. Hey, hey, who, who's this guy? What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the Council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. What's it like living here on the Citadel? 
The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel space together in a single strong community. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. What a guy. Alright, what else do we want to do? Hey, this shit over here. Hey, Henner. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Alright, uh, well, there's some shit here, but I am going to probably sell the fuck out of stuff, so I'll be back in a bit, because this is going to take fucking forever. Uh, it's probably good enough. I don't think he has anything I want, though. Come in. Show me your items. Uh, let's see what, it, what else he has. Uh, heavy armor Krogans. I don't know why it compares it to me, but whatever. I mean, this is not that much of an upgrade, considering the, probably the cost of it. It's 40,000. No. It's not that big of a thing, especially for them as well. Exoskeleton, damage, a blade of coating. Yeah, fuck it. Alright. Oh, we can go in the back. Here we go. Let's go get the special goods. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the special goods. That's that's actually it. <laughs> All right. Not so bad. We got rid of most of the items that we got from before. How many do we have of keepers so far? Uh, twenty-one in total to do. Oh, is there anything down here? Oh, yeah, there's another one there. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Oh, shit, what's this place? Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, I'm with the Spectres. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the Consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, three or four months. 
What do you do here, Nora? Uh, I did this one already. It's Oops. our job to ensure that. They... What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Oh, sweet. I need a fucking back rub or something. Even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. I'd spend all day here if I could. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Uh, good for him. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. I've heard that before. Many of them become clients. That's fascinating. You wanted to meet with the Commander? Yes, I did. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Yeah, okay, we're fucking out. I have to admit, I'm well, I guess we'll just do that one next time, because uh, I think we've done basically everything here. Uh, well, okay, there's there's tons to do in this place. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but yeah. Just kind of having a look around. Running at the speed of sound. Yeah, they were good. So we'll, uh... We'll, we'll screw around more next time. So, take care, guys. Bye. Oh, you know what? Fucking... Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it off on a good note. <laughs>